What's up, YouTube? It's Verix here, bringing you guys another gameplay commentary today. And today, I have another improving your game video. And today, we're going to be talking about improving your smarts and your in game decision making and things of that nature. So, let's get right into it. Uh, I basically want to just talk about how you guys can possibly improve your game in the decisions you make when you're playing Domination or Search and Destroy, especially even Blitz is a really big one. And I want to talk to you guys about how you can basically become the best player you can possibly be. And that, this, and along with the other Improving Your Game videos will, if you perfect all these things that I talk about in these videos, uh, along with other things that I have yet to talk about and may forget to talk about, I don't know. But these things that I'm talking about in these videos are definite. If you perfect these things to the best of your ability, it's going to improve your game no matter what. I guarantee it 100%. Uh, you're not going to get worse by doing these things. So let's get right into it. Uh, the number one way, normally I save this, I do this in every every single one of my Improving Your Game episodes of this tip, but the number one way I normally save it for last, but this is going to be my very first one for this episode, and it's just going to be a, to play a lot. The more you play, the more you're going to get these situations drilled into your head. You're going to know easier, a lot easier. You're going to pick up on what you should do in a certain situation and the decision you should make. Well, um, a perfect example is basically like blitz at the beginning of the game people shot everyone and then people decided hmm let's just maybe I shouldn't shoot this person just sneak by it's gonna make it easier for me to get the cap because no one's gonna know where I am they're gonna think they have that side covered when they really don't uh, that's just a per perfect example of the more those people played the game and understood how blitz worked and what people's tendencies were oh he shot we're rotating back to pick him up no matter what people figure that out and then they were just like Maybe I just won't shoot. And it works for them. Uh, they played a lot. They learned the game. They, ha they had constant situations of them shooting and them end up ending up getting picked up. And then they just realized, I'm just not going to shoot anymore. And, it's, and then it started working. And now everyone's doing it. Uh, there's that sneaker role that I talked about in one of my other videos. People just, Some people just make it their goal to sneak around the map and not shoot people and get caps and it works it works very well in blitz and uh, that was just because some or people started playing a lot obviously when the game came out and realized so that's my main tip is to just play a lot the more you play the more you learn uh, even when you lose the saying losing is learning is very true and it is everyone should follow it like don't get too discouraged when you lose it's not that big of a deal when you lose a scrim I mean yeah it sucks because you want to just be the best and you never want to lose uh, I have the same feeling I have the same mindset I hate losing and whenever I lose even a scrim I just I get mad and I, I hate it but I mean I don't get down on myself or think anything that like I'm bad because uh, losing is learning the more you play and the more you lose even the more you're gonna figure out okay why did we lose that game you're gonna go back and you're gonna figure out why and then you're gonna fix that reason and you may even come back play those same people that you lost the scrim to and then you're gonna end up shutting them down just because you took that loss and made a productive made it productive instead of just taking that loss and just getting depressed so just make sure you play a lot whenever you lose don't get too discouraged and get down on yourself just uh, go back I know it's kinda more difficult to go back and see what you're doing wrong in without theater now but try to figure out what you're doing wrong as to the best of your ability uh for exi now an example of that playing a lot is it, right there at the beginning of the game there's no way i would have just trailed that first guy that i killed i would have shot him immediately off spawn when he started running uh and then again right here i end up getting another two piece to cap the portal so that was just a really good play by me. I, we just got two caps in like 20-something seconds, 25 seconds, just because when I saw that guy off spawn, I didn't shoot immediately. If I would have shot, that would have made everyone on their team rotate. Not everyone, but that would have made a couple people on their team at least rotate back to their portal and make sure that they picked me up. And I might not have gotten that two-piece, and then the first person to slide in may not have gotten the cap, and we may, have, may not have gotten any caps off that. And instead, I didn't shoot, and it led to us actually getting it. A total of three caps just because I chose to trail the person and shoot him once I got into their base instead of shooting him immediately 
So that's just a perfect ex perfect example of the more you play, the more you drill these situations into your head, uh, the better you're going to get at the game, period. There's no denying that. And it's really, honestly, a fact. The more you play the game, the better you're going to get at it. That's how it works. I mean, I'm people that played in MW2, that's when they started. That's when I started. And if they still played up until now, they're probably tons better than they were originally just because they played a lot, not because they... Uh, looked up how to be good all right now another tip I want to give you guys for basically improving your smarts in game or in game decision making is going to be to slow down the game don't play too fast the faster you play you may end up making decisions that you wouldn't just because your brain is just trying to process these situations way too fast and it's not you're not really thinking about it you're just running running into their portal and trying to make a play when you could simply, I mean, slow down the game a little bit, think about what you're doing, and then you're honestly immediately going to start making better plays and being smarter. Just because when you're playing too fast, you're you're going to you're going to get all jumbled up and you're not going to know what you're doing. You're just going to start doing stuff out of habit and instinct, and most of those habits are going to come from pubs and that's not going to work in competitive. Uh, one of those habits being to challenge all your all gunfights in pubs, you don't not challenge. You challenge everything in pubs just because it's pubs. It's not going to work in competitive. So when you start playing too fast and getting frustrated with, your, with yourself, uh, that's another thing that will make you have messed up decision making. Playing too fast, getting frustrated, uh, all those things are going to equal you just your decisions are going to be too, uh, you're going to make them too fast and you're not going to be really thinking about them. You're just going to be like, okay, this is what, that's just going to be your instinct is to do whatever that, whatever you end up doing. And it may end up costing you the game. So slow down the game, stay calm, don't play too fast. Uh, you just got to make sure you do all those things. It's going to really help you in your decision making and it's going to allow you to play to the best of your ability. All right, now the last thing I want to talk about in this episode, it's not really basically, well, basically, it's not really has any, doesn't really have anything to do with improving your smarts, I guess you could say, uh, but it's going to really improve, it's going to help you improve your game. There's not too much to say about improving how smart you are. It's kind of just, uh, are you smarter? I mean, you can improve how smart you are, obviously, but there's not really that many tips I can give you on how to be as smart. I don't really know how to do that. But those were the best tips I can give you to increase how smart you are, I guess. And it's basically just increasing your in-game decision-making. That's what I'll title the video instead of smarts, in-game decision-making. Okay, and also the next thing I want to talk about is adjusting. And you can't just play the exact same way all the time against everyone. You have to adjust to what they're doing. Uh, and you can't just run into... Like, a perfect example is one of my best friends, even in real life... Uh, he was a monster at Black Ops 2 and then he came to this game and in Black Ops 2 He just challenged everything and he had a really good MSMC shot and he was able to do it So it worked for him in Black Ops 2. He comes to this game. You die a lot faster uh, And I'm assuming the problem is in Black Ops 2 obviously you had to hit more bullets So he was able to outgun people in this game You don't have to hit as many bullets So he's not able to outgun people as quickly because uh, his internet isn't that good so he's gonna be seeing these people Obviously, they're going to get their bullets off first, and then he's going to die faster, whereas in Black Ops 2, maybe they miss a couple bullets, uh, but he wasn't able to adjust to this game. He wasn't able to adjust to how fast you die, and he doesn't play anymore. So that's a, just a huge example as to you have to be able to adjust, guys, not just from game to game, but from map to map, from life to life. If someone on the other team is shutting you down in whatever you do, n number one, it's because they adjusted to what you're doing. Uh... If you're pushing a certain side of the map the same way all game and then they figure that out and start not letting you do it anymore, it's because they adjusted to what you were doing and you have to you have to readjust to that. So you can't just do the same thing the entire game. If it's working, keep doing it until it's not working. Don't fix it if it's not broken. But if it stops working and people start figure, latching on to what you're doing and catching you while you're doing it and it's... in you just can't do the same things anymore and they're shutting you down you have to be able to adjust and there's not really any tips i can give you to adjust to things you just have to get it into your head that you're i'm basically think to yourself i'm not doing this again like 
you cannot just allow yourself to keep doing the same thing over and over and over again when it's not working just because in past situations it has worked every team's different every player's different and they may a different another team may be able to stop you from doing something that another team a different team may just let you do all game and you can run through them so you really have to be able to adjust to each team you're playing each player you're playing and that's really going to allow you to become the best Call of Duty player you possibly can. And you're going to be able to perform to the best of your ability just if you follow those few basic tips. But that's really all I got to say for today, guys. There's about 15 seconds left in the video. So thanks for watching, guys. Uh, I hope these tips help you. Uh, there's not really too many tips that I was able to give you for adjusting. You really can't give tips for that. But the in-game decision making, I gave you guys a couple tips for that. Hopefully that will help out. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, be sure to drop a like, and if you'd like to see more from me in the future, be sure to subscribe. Peace.